Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to the Nyan Cave. My name is Tom and today I want to give a huge thank you to Elgato for providing us with a pair of their brand new Elgato key lights for use and review in our studio. So, let's do that. Now, first things first, you may be wondering why you're watching a non-tech review channel with a funny name, Review Tech. Well, before you go anywhere, let me tell you it's because we live stream every single day, twice a day, and we're going to give you a real world perspective on how these lights stack up to more traditional softbox lights and traditional lighting sources. Ever since we stopped using lights that I literally made out of Tupperware and spray paint, we've been using the industry standard softbox lights to light our studio, and they've been doing a pretty decent job for us. There are a few things that we've just been putting up with. They're big, they run hot, they're barely adjustable, and we can't adjust them at all while we're streaming without literally getting up and touching them. The Elgato key lights, on the other hand, well, let's just say that they're like the lights that your light girlfriend tells you not to worry about, but you know you should. They're slim, they run cool because they're LEDs, they have an impressive range of brightness between 75 and 2500 lumens, and they're adjustable between 2900 Kelvin and 7000 Kelvin for warmth. And all of this is Wi-Fi controlled, which means you can adjust it on the fly from your workstation without getting up. Nice. So, what do you need to know about Elgato key lights? Number one, setup is easy. It comes with this adjustable pull mount for your desk, which frees up a lot of room on your floor for those cramped studio spaces, or when you're streaming from vacation, where you can only stream out of a closet, which is really bad lighting. The mount itself is adjustable between 22 inches off your desk to 49 inches above your desk, as well as you can adjust the angle, pitch, and yaw of this simply by loosening this screw, turning it to where you want it to go, and tightening it again. You can also mount these lights horizontally or vertically using the quarter inch threaded mounting points they've got on the left, right, top, and bottom of the lights themselves. Because we use the TV as our main monitor, we've got our lights mounted about six and a half feet away from us, which has always made it a real pain to adjust any sort of lighting while we're streaming. I wish you could turn only the warm ones on for that one. <laughs> like I can't. Super annoying. Which is what's so great about number two. They're Wi-Fi controlled. You have access to turning these lights on, off, and adjusting the brightness and warmth right from your desktop while you're streaming. Setting these lights up on your Wi-Fi if you've got a Wi-Fi adapter in your computer is super easy. All you have to do is make sure the light is plugged in and turned on, open the Elgato Control Center software, click Add Accessory, find your light, and log into your home Wi-Fi. And that's it. Now, if your computer does not have a Wi-Fi adapter, as many do not, you can use a laptop, your iOS, or your Android device to pair these devices to your Wi-Fi network, because once the Elgato key lights are on your network, any computer can securely access them through the Elgato Control Center software. Which brings me to number three, the software. It's great. It's super intuitive and easy to use. The lights will first show up as Elgato key light followed by four random digits. You can change the name though by just clicking on it and I highly recommend doing this as they're way easier to work with once you have. After that, you got access to two sliders, one for brightness and one for warmth. Every studio space is gonna be different, so I'd highly recommend playing around with these as much as you can and find the lighting that works well for you and your space. Because our lights are so far away from us, we've found that a brightness of about 25% with 3600 Kelvin works really great for my side of the room, whereas 35% and 3400 Kelvin works really great for Clay's side of the room. Once you've played around with the settings, let us know what settings work great for you in the comments down below. Which brings me to the fourth and final point that I wanna bring up about these key lights is that they work with your Stream Deck. For those uninitiated, the Stream Deck is a super powerful tool for streamers that allows you to control various elements of your stream right from the click of a button. And the Elgato key lights, not only can you turn them on and off, but you can also adjust between different presets you've set up of brightness and warmth right from your deck. And you can set up as many as you like. Which brings me to final thoughts. The lights are great. It's really hard to find things that I don't like about them. So the only thing I can say is that I wish that Elgato would streamline the pairing process via a mobile phone. Uh, it was a little bit tedious to do and I ended up just using my desktop in the end. But aside from that, they're an upgrade in every single way from our softbox studio lights. It's really nice that they run cooler, they've got a great form factor to them, and the adjustments on the fly is something we've been playing with over the past week that we've had them. So if you've got the opportunity, I'd highly recommend picking up a set for yourself. And don't use a Tupperware light for your studio. It's not worth it. So that wraps up our review of the Elgato key lights. Again, I'd highly recommend these lights. And if you wanna see them in action, make sure to pop by our live streams. We are live every single day at 3.30 p.m. and every single day except for Monday at 12.30 p.m. Vancouver, British Columbia time, or for the Americans out there, LA time. Till we see you there. Bye.